All right, so what's up, Dreamer Tribe? to play this game. <laughs> I've been meaning to play this game for a while now, ever since I got the code, but again, my schedule just didn't um, allow it. it. It just wasn't possible because, um, as I said, my job, I, I have to travel like daily for, for my job. So yeah, first off, of course, is, as always, checking the options. Um, I'm gonna go and increase the talk speed to 1.50 audio volume. Let's tone it down a bit. English language, uh, that's okay. So let's check the controls. X to interact, circle to cancel, the usual. Use police la radio. Oh, on. So, be oh yeah. Before we begin, a little bit of the background on Beat Cop. You're, you're basically um, a cop who has been um, charged for murdering someone, so you're basically um, an out-of-luck cop. Uh, it's retro, it's inspired by the 80s cop shows, um, so you, you've been framed for murder, basically, and now you want to go and find uh, who it was that framed you, who is the actual you know, murderer and stuff like that. Um, I haven't played this game yet, um, this is my first time playing it, because I wanted to make this, um, uh, you know, first impressions video as honest as possible, and the only way to do that is play it without prior knowledge, uh, you know, of the game and how the game plays. So yeah, first time playing for, for, for you know, for the first impression. So yeah, box, check time, triangle, write tickets, so we can write tickets, that's cool. R1, handcuff criminal, R2, fire gun, L2, sprint, I hope I remember all of these, I hope that there's like a 
a button thing, you know, uh, an image of the buttons, what that, what those buttons that does, like an, an, uh, like a tutorial of some sort. Options, pause, um, the touchpad, it's open notepad. R3, focus mode, uh, and the left stick is to move our character. To exit, I'm pretty sure the only controls I will remember are the controls for interaction and cancel layout. But yeah, those are the controls. So, without further ado, I'm gonna only be playing this for 30 minutes. Um, I, I suppose that's enough of a time to like get a first impression on the game. Uh, that way, when we replay it for the Let's Play videos, it, we won't we won't have to replay the entire thing. You know. Um, because when I do start the re- I, I, I'm, I'm thinking that when I do start the Let's Play, that I will start from the very beginning. Um, because I found that in my videos, people tend to not really pay much attention. Um, but yeah, let's, let's, just, uh, let's just start the game. Um, when we were kids, we spent countless hours on watching 80s TV cop shows. We love watching good guys kicking bad guys' asses, saving beautiful women and driving muscle cars into the night. We knew they weren't true, but we didn't care. We had damn good time, and that's what counted. True, Beat Cop is not a document about New York in the 80s, but yeah, if you guys want to read that, just pause the video. I really, I'm really enjoying games with graphics like these. Um, so if you checked out the 1031 burglary at 21, uh, so if you guys checked out um, the uh, what do you call this? The trailer for um, for for this game, then you would be familiar with this uh, opening cutscene because it was shown on the trailers, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, I made a mistake. Okay. That. Also, I'll just mute my phone because it's been pinging. So that's how it all began. I love how old school that is. this is. Beat Cop. So yeah. Senator Diamond's Senator's Diamond go missing. Burglar shot dead by NYPD NYDP. <laughs> These change letters. Uh, detective at Senator's Villa. An official sources reported the that following a decision by the NYDP chief, Detective Jack Kelly will be removed from his position and transferred to another division. NY. Oh my God! I need to read quicker. Apparently, um. Day one, new shoes. So I'm... I think that first off, the... I'm sure you've ever met our colleague. Maybe you should introduce yourself again, Kelly. I think I... Hey, Kelly, sup. Hey, Kelly. I think I... Uh, made the text go too fast. So I'm gonna change that. What are you laughing at? Shapans. Nothing, boss. You saw two braces of yours to write this down. Don't come back without writing 10 tickets. You mean you mean 10 to 10 each, you moron. <laughs> we can do it, boss. Wrong. That doesn't apply to you yet. Kelly, why are you What's wrong with me? I don't care about your past, detective. Or if you whack that poor bastard. Or if you swipe the senator's valuables. That's not internal affair. That's what internal affairs are for. The, but now on the street, you're a rookie. I don't know you well enough to dislike you yet. So you don't have to worry about tickets today. Don't even take your ticket book. Don't get any ideas. Don't... I can't. Detective has it easy with a boss. Better write down that, that uh, what you need to do because I won't repeat myself. Yes, sir. You need to meet, meet the big faces. Okay. Meet Luzia. Ivan from the liquor store also wants to meet you. Say hi to Adamski. Uh, electronic store too. Because they're bitching about a lack of interest. And don't forget the church. That's a lot. You need to be fire mushroom. Oh, and laundry right beside you. got that. Feel free to meet everyone else there too since that'll be your beat. But I don't need to tell you that, right? You, your pressed. I can't. But that man knows the neighborhood like the back of his hand. He'll explain everything. Your call sign is four two one. 
But only Kelly gets a free pass. Okay, so we need to go to the church. Get to work. Um, Cortez, I need to take the furniture back and paint, right? Why didn't the painters do it? Because they already left and they were talking kind of funny. They left behind a shit ton of bottles and so many expletives. Be a man for once. Your feminine still has time to move. <laughs> That's that. See, so yeah, I think I'm gonna change uh, the text speed because what we have right now is it's too fast. So yeah, let's turn it back to one. Kelly, you've already been told everything at the briefing. Visit everyone, introduce yourself. Okay, sure. Besides, Fam, I'll tell you what's what. Um, around here, you're no big shot suit no more. We'll see about that. Your hands were too sticky. At the senator's house. So not only are they blaming you for killing, um, like, a dude, they're also blaming you for stealing something that you didn't really steal. Again, so many explanations of this. I sold me to babysit you today. I want to get this over with. Same here. It's my last day on the street. Let's go. Where? We'll grab something to eat at Louis. It's not that far. We'll check in on Damski on the way. I had to step in at his place yesterday. We'll see if everything is all right. All right. Uh, 421 in the area. You're 421, remember that. Say hi to Fat Mike for me. <laughs> Said it. Have a good day, 421. So I have to remember that too. For I'm 421. What is this? Four robbers killed by the NYDP. What a town. Yes. What a town indeed. What a town. All right, Adamski. Good morning, Mr. Adamski. Quiet today, of course. Uh, the idea with the freezer was perfect. The freezer, I'll tell you later. This is Polly. He'll be working here from now on. Kelly, I'm being transferred to another street. Welcome, officer. Stop by every now and then. I definitely will. All right, visit stores and talk to owners. They see and know a lot. This is my neighborhood now, after all. And don't stress too much. You don't have to do everything every day. Some days you can go insane with the amount that's happening. You'll see everyone is gonna want something from you. You decide what you don't give a flurkin' about. Cause you can't do it all. And the sergeant, he won't always know if you do some shit on the side. Not just quotas and tickets cause you can't retire on those. Relax, it's good advice. So what was the deal with the freezer? Don't ask, Polly. <laughs> You work here for a while, you'll start to get it. Sometimes you gotta think outside the box. Let's, let's drop by Louis' Pizzeria. He's got some really good food. So yeah, um, so I think this is basically... Um, follow Mike the Pizzeria. This is basically a cop simulation of some sort. 607 Rick's, Rick's Cafe. That gook the dry cleaners ruined my shot. So, yeah, I really love how these look like. <laughs> Liquor store, six... Oh, okay, so now I see it. There's actually numbers here. So, let's go check. Uh, 607, 609, 611, 621, 611. Let's go inside 611. Can we? Huh? We can't? So we have to follow... A the, that dude first. Oh, a new policeman. Welcome to our humble establishment. I'm Kelly. We know, we know. We Italians know everything about this neighborhood. We came by for a pizza, Louis. They're transferring me and Polly's taking over. I hope our relationship relationship will be fruitful. Of course it will. We hope that unfortunate incident with Sir... Yeah, yeah. Misunderstanding that could be cleared up. Maybe with our help. I can handle it. Ah, of course. But we could always be of help. Polly new here, but he's a quick learner. It's Kelly. And now about the pie. I'm starving. So yeah, um, the texts are too fast. Even though I reverted reverted back, you know, to the original speed, I'm gonna miss it. 
I bet. I sure, he sure knows what he's doing. In a month, I'll be wearing your uniform. But be careful, Polly. These are no ordinary Italians. I can imagine. You need to be delicate here, and you might live to see retirement like me. Hey, Polly, look. Kelly, it's Polly to me. Some dirty hippie didn't pay the parking meter. Write him a ticket before he skips out. I didn't bring my ticket book. God damn it, the boss was right. If I weren't here, you'd probably shit your diaper. Take my... Mark the violation on the ticket, write your badge number, and sign it, and put it behind the wiper. Okay, so writing tickets... Uh, triangle button. Um, now what? I, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. Parking violation. Issued by Kelly, badge number 421. There we go. I hear ticket prices are about to go up. Ticket written up. So let's get this clunker out of here. Call for a tow truck and radio. Give me back my ticket book. The boss gave you other tasks for the day. So, how are we gonna... Oh, R1. I think. I think L1. All towing. Let's do it. Uh, this is 421 Central. I need a tow truck at 609. Laying. 10 4. Tow truck on its way. A tow truck's on its way? That's right. Good work. That was easy. The driver didn't show. The worst ones run up and cause a scene. We don't need them. You need to learn to pacify them. Any advice? Just be careful what you write on the ticket. You'll get an earful for the unlawful ones. Okay, now the handcuffs. What about them? You'll use them every day, so you're gonna need to learn how to cuff a perp. Just slap on the cuffs down there on your belt when you're close to him. Okay. Or to one, there's a central. We've got a robbery at Hardwick's. 10 4 on my way. Cash that teeth all his sweatshirt. How do you run? I forgot how to run. Okay, there we go. Okay, run like the wind, bullseye. R1. You're under arrest! 1012 Central, I need a squad car to come pick up a perp. 10 4, cars on the tray. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love playing this game. Uh, again, I wish I have this on the Switch, because this is the kind of game I think I could lose myself. Um, now get back to Fat Mike, he's waiting for you by the pizzeria. I, this, is a, this is the kind of game I feel like I could play for hours, you know, and not even notice that I've been playing it for hours. Oh, this is so... Also, I need to make it back to Fat Mike. Okay. We are making it back to Fat Mike. Also, again, I love the the old school graphics and the feel, you know? And I suppose that being called Polly is gonna be a recurring joke of some sort. That teeth, look at Aside from the dark keys, we also got Italian mob in the area. I wouldn't flirken with either if I were you. I wasn't born yesterday, man. Who knows? Just saying, you got two hostile forces in the area. Now we'll split up. Let's go about the neighborhood and talk to people. I've got a few things to take care of. I'll see you at the end of the shift. Remember, you don't need to push yourself to do everything every day. Let's meet up Let's meet up at 4 p.m. in front of Louise. Okay, so let's do everything that's in the notebook. Good day, officer. Hello, I'm Kelly. Perhaps you can't drink on duty, but off duty you can always find something at a good price for you. Thanks, I'll have to take you up on that. Haha, <laughs> I knew I liked you the moment I saw you. Later. See you later, alligator. All right, where else? 607. Let's go find 607. It's right over there. Hardwick Cafe. Hello, good day, Officer Kelly. Need anything? I love your figure. I was just stop. I just stopped by to introduce myself. That's good. Very good. You have a dangerous job, but Mr. Kelly, I have a beautiful leather jacket. Perhaps you're a fan of motorcycles. Uh, I would have loved that red leather jacket. Give me. All my sock is 100% genuine. Really? Okay. Where are next? Uh, we got to. Package for me, I'm oh, sorry, I thought it was mailman, no problem, sometimes other things do. Tickets. <laughs> what, what, would you consider uh, tickets to be some kind of delivery? Um, no, meet up with friend Mike's. Hardwick's Cafe. Oh, this place. Okay, good day, officer. Good day, Officer Kelly. I'm the new cop in the neighborhood. Welcome. We're always welcome for coffee on the house or something stronger. Thank you, I'll be glad to drop by. Alright, where to next? Visit Crank's Drugstore 621. 
Okay, 6 to 1. We're gonna find 6 to 1. Uh, 6 to 3. What are you doing here, Captain? I want to talk to you, Kelly. I'm listening. You should meet up more often. Thank you, Captain. I didn't finish. I know they're framing you. I want to help. With a murder charge? The kid wasn't a saint. There's nothing we can do for him, but this city needs you. Thank you, Captain. I didn't finish. You're a good cop, but there's one condition. Those missing diamonds need to be found. There were no diamonds at the Senators. I don't know what was and wasn't there they need to turn up. The Senator is a key player in getting you out of this shit. Without him, we're both done for. This is a little shady, isn't it? You've got 21 days, then I'm retiring. If you can't find them in three weeks, there'll be nothing more I can do. Now you're giving me deadlines. I wasn't finished. There's one more thing. If my hunch turns out to be right, this case is going to rock the whole city. What are you staring at? I wasn't sure if you were finished, sir. I was. Now get to work. All right. So, um, this game is sort of like Harvest Moon, I suppose. It it has that deadline, so it's not like a cop simulation that will take forever to play i would have liked it if there, it was like i hope that this has like a, a post game content where you can just roam around and do cop stuff but yeah i will have to play this game and finish it again first time playing this game and we've i don't know how long we've been playing but we've only been playing this for a while i already loved it as i've said uh, previously but really hope that i would be able to you know actually play this game for like forever like harvest moon does or games like that but anyway let's go find 621 building 621 621 please okay here it is cranks drugstore what no not that here we go good morning her officer officer kelly you you look wunderbar in that cost uniform is there anything amiss any pain any injuries no, I just dropped by to introduce myself. I'm new here. Ah, yes, of course. Always at your service. Your predecessor bought a lot of medicine for embarrassing ailments. Hmm, he completely neglected his health. But there was some semblance of order. I'll do my best, blood and her. Funny letters. What's this play? From the scouts, one of my mementos from the war. You lost everything, unfortunately. My father fought in Europe. You two should have taken quite the trip down memory lane. Perhaps. If any case, in any case, I've always offered the latest medicine. There's Grigion guarantee. I, I, I'm not even sure if it's French or something. All right, where to next? This is half hour electronics six three three, and it's already already nine ten a.m. Six three three. Where is six three three? Uh, three. There we go. Six three three. Is this it? Yo yo yo! I'm Darren Diggs, and this is my joint. Everything's legit, officer. I didn't even ask. We know what they say about us. I'm new, I haven't heard yet. Welcome, you can always come to an agreement. I don't have anything to pawn. Sometimes I got something worth buying, good opportunities. I'll remember that. You drop by in time, officer. I better keep an eye on that one. So, after that, high fi electronics. Oh. We missed the actual place we have to visit. Good morning, how can I help you? Good morning. I came by to introduce myself. I'm Kelly, new to the neighborhood. Nice to meet ya. We could use someone to create some ore around here. The police don't come around these parts very often. The entire neighborhood's important to us. Good to hear, especially with neighbors like these. What do you mean? Well, that pawn shop next door, it's a legal establishment. Sure, what are you implying? So fast. That's your job, isn't it? I got my own. I have a lot of new stocks and sales all the time. I can also put in special orders. I'll drop by sometime. We can talk. Welcome. So yeah, now we visit the church and then the laundry. I think we should go to the laundry first. <laughs> Make fat yo butts sweet around the... <laughs> this game. All right, 631, visit the laundry. Laundry, six... This doesn't look like a laundry. Good morning, good morning. A dozen donuts? I'm not that kind of cop. Everyone says that. No one can resist our donuts. Alright, then I'll take one, please. Just a taste test. This is really good. What did I tell you? See you soon. So, where's E for rental? Oh, here's it. Here's the laundry. Tucked in the nook. I'm Officer Kelly. I'm new to the area. Nice cleaners. House business. Benny no here. Benny, are your brother? Harry and Benny Pong, yes. I just came to introduce myself. Hi. No clean. Go now. But, go now. Benino. <laughs> then we go to the church. So this is like, it's it's it's, um, 
Kelly, Irish, after my great grandparents, Catholic, sometimes. Okay, we'll talk more about that. Like, new transfer, uh, yep, I can't mis introduce myself. We get transferred a lot too. Would you like to confess? Maybe some other time. I've got enough of that in front of the sergeant. But does the sergeant love you like Jesus does? Does he forgive? Definitely not as often. Come by if you need guidance, my son. Maybe I will see you later. Godspeed. So yeah, this, this game, I feel like it will have a lot of those um, things that you really shouldn't say in front of people um, like controversial stuff um, and also a lot of uh, stereotypes which is something that I am not a fan of so I'm not sure if that will translate to the enjoyment that this game might uh, provide me or might have provided me if it didn't have any of those um, but yeah we're I'm gonna leave my judgment on that after I play the entire thing thing but as long as they i feel like as long as they don't go overboard beat cat mode on what what does that mean what does that mean i don't know what that is <laughs> but yeah as long as i think that they don't go overboard i i can probably um live with that but yeah we have to find a missing jewel i'm not even sure how we're supposed to do that hey where are you going I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do. How would I f know if there is a crime going on? Like, I was tempted to go and, you know, slap the handcuffs on those two running guys. This is Central, 421, you've got a call store. Froggy caught a thief. Froggy, where's that? I'm new here. Porn store. At 613, we're going at a porn store. Oh my god. This is like super over PG something. Found a bag that thief. I was just looking. That was. <laughs> it's okay. I'll take care of it. So, what did you. I was just looking at what rubbers. Thief! Relax, Froggy. Press him. Don't flirt and piss me off. Turn out your pockets. There you go. I see. You got five bucks. Pay for the rubbers and get lost. Consider the rest damages, dumb pig. You want me to lock you up in lock Mandingo? Fine, fine, I'm paying, but I'll remember this. Nicely done. I'll spread the good word about you. Glad I could help. Goodbye. So, uh, what does? Are you new here? Yeah, I just started. So, what does it mean to like lose a, uh, th those? You know, I like talking to policemen. I'll become a policeman too when I grow up. Dad says it's a good job. Really, you can. Yeah, you can always take. <laughs> I don't think I should have, I think I should have a word with him. He's not afraid of anyone. Okay, nice talking to you, but I'm wasting my time. No, yeah, check your watch. It, it's like time stops during conversations. <laughs> You're in the right. I'm gonna. So yeah, um, so many things to say about this. Um, like it's stereotyping a lot of people basically. I, I and again, I reiterate, I do not have any idea of what. Uh, what crew men, uh, what losing crew means, what mafia, I know the mafia, we, like, what, what do these numbers do? Do we get a different ending or, like, does the city or the, or the, this street change depending on, you know, uh, what, uh, if, like, if the police isn't neutral, will that change how, how the street looks? Um, that's something I'm really curious about. Uh, that's something I look forward to learning about this game. I don't know what this is. What What am I supposed to do? Like, uh, I don't know what. Okay, officer. Yes, you're new here. We could help. Acclimated. How's that? We could meet up. This isn't Vegas. Gambling's illegal. Who said anything about gambling? A little R and R. Never heard nobody. Hmm. I'll think about. It. Please do. Thanks. I have to go later. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing right now um, in this game. Doesn't really offer you what you're supposed to do um, until four o'clock. So I guess we could just uh, explore. <laughs> um, we can't write any ticket because we don't have our ticket book, our notebook. So explore it is best away from that pawn shop. So yeah, I'm not curious about the pawn shop because people are telling us to stay away from it and. Uh, they're hinting that it's sketchy. Uh, what is this? Good morning, hot dog. 
decline. No thanks, maybe later. As you wish, officer. I'm here every day. Yeah, because you're selling hot dogs. I, I suppose that's your job. Oh, can we go here? Can you pick that flower? We can't pick it. I was hoping. Sorry, how I wanted to talk to you. What does he want? I don't know, but I suggest you hurry to get the one with you and lower so they'll just fire you. Alright, I'm going. 10 4. Okay, find a phone. How difficult is it to find a phone here? Okay, phone boot. There we go. Phone boot. Let's call you what do you want, Holloway. This Sergeant Holloway to you. <laughs> I swear on all that is lurking holy. I'm calling you to let you know I'm watching you. What can I help you with, Sergeant Sir? Are you flirting with me, Kelly? I wouldn't dare, Sergeant Sir. Your ex-wife, you filthy piece of dog shit, is giving her daddy. Says she's unhappy and for that I get shit from the chief. I'm not gonna get flirting because of you. Pay the alimony. Don't flirting around a lot. I'll bury you. You Irish fire truck. But Sergeant, you don't know the whole truth. I don't give a flirk. I don't want to hear another word about her. Yes, sir, Sergeant, sir. That's all back to work. Yes, sir, Sergeant, sir. I don't understand what's going on. I am going to the contract of the rest. I thought the notebook updated. What happened? Stamina minus one. Why? So yeah, I'm, I remember I was heading off to the pawn shop. So let's... What's this? Hey Commissioner, don't you know the stripes? Respect is important. The boss wanted me to let you know he's a reasonable man, knows how to return a favor. And why are you telling me this? You just remember that officer, it'll be better that way. I'm not trying to make enemies here. Wise decision you can often see as an corners. Okay, and what are you trying to say? Got something to pawn. I came to see if you had anything lying around. Hey, this is a legit business. Oh, so because I'm black, I gotta be a thief. It's not the color, it's the attitude. And what kind of attitude do you have about the color black? Man, everything's legit. Well, alright then. That's what I wanted to hear. Then what? Like, I don't understand. What time is it? <laughs> Um, I don't want to piss off Mike either. Also, I, I'm still looking for that thing. Um, I, I don't understand the whole thing about um, Kelly's wife. Also, as you guys have noticed, I try not to read the expletives because I'm against those. I'm trying to keep my channel as child-friendly as possible and um, I'm starting to think that playing this game might not <laughs> be a good idea if I have children watching this channel. Also now, what are we supposed to do? Am I supposed to just... Okay, so let's just... It's, there's the officer. We can't talk to the officer just yet. Notebook updated. Helicopter just flew by. I've had a look around the neighborhood. I've talked to people. I can handle this place. Sure. What are we waiting for? A friend wanted to meet you. What's he doing? Oh shit, Polly, get down. Get the flurkin down. Oh, that's... Uh, that's intense even for pixel people. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Sorry, I'm sorry. For what? It's not that bad, man. You'll be alright. Mike, wake up! <laughs> wake up! Stay with me, Mike! <laughs> Paramedic put that. Nothing left to do. Look, his guts are all over the floor and ground. He's bleeding out. Like. Let's just say the me media's here. PS News gonna ask you if you PS News. <laughs> oh my god. So, like, we have paramedics who doesn't want to. Help? People on the beat are neutral. So every day, I've met the owners of the biggest business on. 
I wrote up my first ticket to Kaplan and help with the murder rap. I gotta find the missing diamonds. And if I didn't take the jewelry, someone else did. I need to find out who wanted to get rid of Fat Mike. So many things that shootout was no accident. A gang operates in the area already got on their bad side by arresting that shoplifter. I need to have 340 al alimony payment. I don't understand what the al alimony is al or alimony is. I have to look up, look that up too, I guess. Payment in three days. Got my paycheck. Fifty dollars uh, for the first day. So, um, based from that first day, um, I kind of had, uh, you know, that inkling that something, something was gonna happen to Mike. So, that's not all surprising. Um, first off, a little explanation that just because this is an indie game, it doesn't necessarily immediately meant. That that is the reason why I wanted to play this. The reason why I was curious about this and I wanted to play this, I wanted to write a review about this and to make this, you know, first impression video is because of what the story is supposed to be or what I garnered from what the story is supposed to be. Because this is written up as a point and click um, indie simulation, retro simulation, and based from the about. Uh, based on the stuff written about the game, um, it makes it sound like it's also it also has mystery in it. And I enjoy playing mystery games. I enjoy those you know type of types of games. I enjoy like the Detective Conan uh, game and even the manga and the anime series. I enjoy playing the Ace Attorney games and the spin-offs of those games and all the other point-and-click uh, uh, games that involve police officers or detectives or normal people trying to get to the bottom of a mystery or find the truth. And that is what hooked me into playing and requesting a review code for this game and ended up playing this game. So I just want to clear that out uh, first and foremost. But uh, for that first day alone, we didn't. Well, we we saw so we saw the actual scope of what the game um, sort of is like, how the game plays. Um, it does leave me a lot of questions. Like I said, I I had an inkling that Mike was gonna die, uh, only because he was posing as a mentor to our character, like introducing him to the street that he's supposed. Uh, to be taking over and because Mike said that he was retiring and I feel like 80s or you know those old school cop uh, shows uh, that's the kind of cliche thing those shows have and even you know some of those uh, series that we have now that take inspiration from that I feel like it's a cliche thing to do so I was Expecting Mike to go down. Um, not really expecting him to go down <laughs> this quickly. Like I was, I was thinking maybe in the second day or something. But yeah. So not only do we have to find the the um, what do you call this diamond, we also now have to get three hundred dollars for that alimony payment or alimony payment, however you pronounce that thing. Um, also, find out more about the murder we uh, we're being charged with. So there's that. So many things to do. I still don't know uh, what the consequences of like being on the neutral side or um, siding with the mafia. Well, I can imagine what siding with the mafia or the, or the crew will be, but how does that translate? I think that's another thing that I'm curious to know about as I've said before well anyway that's the first day of uh, beat cop and it's an interesting game again I feel like what happened to Mike it was kind of uh, I, I sort of foresaw it happening again because of how cliche that was um, to this whole thing um, I feel like this game um, it's not for uh, kids uh, because of how um, how some of
uh, game, like it's pixel gra graphics, is you know the it, it's similar to the bygone era of gaming. I love it. I love the graphics. I love the how they managed to still portray um, the. the video games you playing it for the first time and experiencing things and showing an honest re reaction to them um, so yeah <laughs> so yeah expect a review of this game sometime soon uh, this is just a first of a couple of videos I have for beat cop um, so yeah there uh, I guess this is as good as a place as any to end this video if this is interesting to you guys don't forget you know to hit that thumbs up button and let me know and i'll see you all in the next video until then you guys know the drill dream on fly on 
Bye bye now. I'm still gonna play this game. <laughs> so um, I wanna know what happens next. So yeah, until next time. What's up, Dreamer Tribe? What's up, world? I am Bianca, and thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button to let me know. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet and you wanna be a part of the Dreamer Tribe, just hit on that subscribe button. We also have tons of different content here on my channel, so be sure to check those out. Until the next video, dream on, fly on.